Better late than never, okay? This video is like two, three weeks in the making. I've been saying week after week after week after week after week that I'm going to do this video. I'm going to do this video. I'm going to talk about my experience in New Jersey and New York City and all of this stuff. Y'all know that I procrastinate like fuck. I say something. I'm going to have to stop saying something on camera about what the fuck I'm going to do and then not do and then don't do it. Because I know people be waiting on the shit and then I just don't do it. So, no. So, you know, as I get ready to go to work and at the same time prepare for my trip to the A this weekend, um, I decided to just come on in and do this video because I know that I've been saying that I was going to do it for the last two three weeks now and I haven't done shit so let me go ahead and get this on out of here so we're gonna talk about it so um back in March it was brought to me by my first cousin that um she wanted to take a family trip to New Jersey and um mind you that's the only first cousin that I have on both on either side because my mother has no siblings and my dad got um my dad has two sisters and only one of them had a child so my cousin my first cousin is the only first cousin that I got and um so she was like um I want to I want us to go on a trip to New to Jersey because I know you and your sister never been um I haven't been in 12 years and Jaquela goes her daughter Jaquela goes every year so let's just all go to New Jersey and you know, for for a long time now, it's always been asked, do you want to go to New Jersey, you know, by my dad, do you want to go to New Jersey, do you want to come to New Jersey, do you want to do this, do you want to do that, and I would always say no. And it was mainly because I was angry with him during the time that he would ask me. So, of course, I wasn't going. I was angry with him, I was angry with my grandmother, I was angry with my brothers and sisters, I was angry with all of them, so I didn't want to go. So, um... You know, when my, when my cousin Monique brought it to me, I was like, you know what, I'll go. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, everything is pretty much done. You know, at this point, you know, me and my dad have a decent relationship now. We don't talk every day, but uh, we have a decent relationship now, so I'm, I can go. Um, but, you know, I did have my qualms about one of my brothers. I really wasn't feeling him at the moment. So I really wasn't that excited about him. But other than that, I wanted to see my niece and nephew. I had never seen them before um, and all of that stuff. I think my brother um, my brother had his first child back in 2013. So this was a long time in the making. I had never seen his daughter before. And my uh, one of my sisters had a baby um, a couple of months ago. So... You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. So, um, I was like, okay, I'll go. So, um, we all, you know, um, we pay for our tickets within the next week. We pay for our plane tickets and all of that stuff. And so, this was my first time going on a plane. I had never flew on a plane. I always rode in the car or the one time I rode on a Greyhound and I never wanted to do it again. So, this is my first time riding a plane and all of that stuff. So, you know, like I said, um... I, I was excited, but I wasn't. I was excited about the experience because I've never been to New Jersey. And my, my father is from New Jersey, so that's where he comes from. He's from Patterson, so that's where he comes from. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about a, a new adventure, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all about going somewhere. As y'all know, I've been going every goddamn where. I've been all over the place over the last couple of months. So, I'm all about going somewhere. So, um, I was just... Thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. I had all these negative vibes about going and shit because, you know, my relationships with my siblings haven't always been the best. So, although my relationship with my father was good, my relationships with, um, not all my siblings, but probably two of them. Two of my siblings wasn't always that great. And it doesn't help that I haven't seen, I hadn't seen them in years. Um, the one that I, the only ones that I saw more recent were my two brothers and they was here two, no, three years ago when my sister graduated from college. They came for her graduation, but as far as my two sisters, no, as a matter of fact, my sister, my youngest sister, she came last year for Monique's son's graduation. And her son graduated last year from high school and he moved to New Jersey. So that's that was another reason why Monique was there. So, you know, 
Um, she came, but my other sister, I had not seen her in, in God knows, like, probably seven years since I seen her. She was like, yay, how the last time I seen her? So, you know, it was, and my grandmother never had all her grandkids in one space in years. Like, we haven't all been together in so long. So, you know, at one, at, at one point it's like, eh, but then at the same time, I just had mixed emotions about it. You know, when you don't know what to expect from people, you don't know what to expect from people. So, we fast forwarded to June the 9th. That's when we got on the plane. Um, of course, we had to go to New Orleans to catch the plane, the catch the flight because here in Jackson, Mississippi, um, they don't have Southwest Airlines and it's way too expensive to um to to catch a plane in Jackson. So you either have to go to Memphis to catch a plane or you gotta go to New Orleans and catch a plane. So we caught the plane in New Orleans. And um you know what I'm saying? Um we traveled for a long damn time. Like we had been we had been out all fucking day. We we left here like around eleven. We made it to um New Orleans around two. We didn't get on a plane till about seven. So we made it there quite early. I didn't un you know, I didn't understand why we were there so fucking early. I was annoyed by that, but you know, that was the end of the you know, she just my cousin Monique is just a very she the type of person that wants everything to be right. She wants to be on time for everything. She just wants everything to be cool. Like, she don't want no fuck-ups, no nothing. And I don't understand that. But, you know, I'm a late bird, so I don't give a fuck about being late. But she do, so I understand. So, um, we got on the plane. And my first few minutes on that plane, when it first went up, I was like... You know, I ain't know what to do with myself. I thought I was going to throw up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my first time being on the plane. So... You know, uh, but all in all, my first plane ride really wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And the, and the flight, the first flight that we caught was that night. It was a nighttime flight. So we caught it at like 7 o'clock um, Central Time. But when we got to um, Newark to get off the plane, it was like 11 something by that point. 10 or 11, you know. Got to Newark. Um, my dad picked us up from... The airport. So it was me, my cousin Monique, her daughter Jaquela, and my sister. It was the four of us. He picked us up from the airport in Newark, and um, it was pretty exciting because I um I hadn't seen my dad in like a year. So I'm like, I cannot believe that we are finally in New Jersey. Like this is something serious. And you know, my cousin Monique actually is from, was born in slightly raised in Patterson, New Jersey. She was in New Jersey until she was about 12 and when she was 12 she came down here to Mississippi so she's been in Mississippi ever since she was 12. But she's but her roots is Patterson. So um, she was like I have it. Oh this is my old stomach ground. And by the time we made it to Patterson you know oh this is my old stomach grounds blah 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 blah. And um I'm like, oh my God, this is Paris, and I'm like, this the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. Like, oh my God, this is the hood. We think we, you know, we think where we stayed in Canton, Mississippi, is the fucking hood. I'm like, damn, this the hood. What the fuck, you know? But we ain't used to all the all these houses being close up together. We ain't used to everybody walking up and down the street at night, and it was, and then it was cool out there. So it was a big difference as to where we came from. Cause when we got on the plane, it was hot and humid as a motherfucker. But when we off the plane, it's chilly. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what the hell? It was a big, drastic difference. Okay, so. You know, we riding around and, you know, Monique all excited because, you know, she hadn't been to Patterson in 12 years. So, she's actually been, you know, she hadn't been there in a long time. So, and the last time she came to Patterson, she fucking drove. She said she'll never do that again. So, um, you know, we was just chilling in, the, in my dad's truck and then we got to his house. And, um, my sister, both of my sisters was there. Um, her baby boy was there. Her boyfriend was there. Um, my two brothers showed up, so all of us, including my dad's two grandkids, my, my niece and nephew, everybody was there for the first time. And at first, it was kind of awkward for me because I haven't seen them in a long time and I didn't know what to expect from them. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, like I can't believe we all together. And it's like the more I sat there, whatever negative feeling that I had, it went away. Like I didn't really care about 
what they what what I said about them or what they may have said about me or what what they did to me or what I may have said and did to them or whatever. Like that was the least of my worries. Like I just could not believe that I was with all of my siblings and with my niece and nephew for the very first time in life. Like, you know, well not with my well, as far as my niece and nephew, that was my first time being around them. But as far as my siblings, I hadn't been around all of them to the, together in years. So, it was so new. And, like, as an adult, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I cannot believe this. Like, I still got the video. Um, I did a Snapchat of us all sitting in the room when I first got there. I wish I knew how to put the shit on the video. But, you know, whatever. I'm not into editing and all of that shit just yet. But, anyway. So, you know, I didn't stay with my dad. I stayed with my Aunt Donna. Um, his sister Donna. So, um, me, my sister, and Ja'Kayla, we stayed with my Auntie Donna. And, um, you know, they lived, in, like, in the little family homes. You know, a lot a lot of these homes in New Jersey are, like, family homes. Like, two family homes, three family homes, you know. So, my aunt stayed in one, in one, in, you know, across the hall from my grandmother. So, me, my sister, and my cousin Ja'Kayla, we stayed with my Aunt Donna. My cousin only stayed across the hall with my grandmother. So uh, we got, we went to sleep and all of that stuff. So the very next day that we were going to have Sunday dinner and then we were going to take family pictures. And um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all saw some of our family, some of the pictures that we took while we were taking the pictures at JCP. You know, my dad is very extra. So we took pictures together um, as a family. There were pictures. All of us was in the pictures. All six of us was in the picture. Then my dad was in the picture. And then... Our niece, my niece and nephew in the picture. So it was like a big family photo that we took together. We went all white and all of that stuff. And by the time we took that picture, I was in. Like, I was done. Like, I was in. I was I was engaging. I wasn't so awkward. I wasn't so quiet. I was talking more. I felt more comfortable at that point. Because, like I always said, I'm not, I was never that close to my immediate family. I was always close to all the rest of my cousins on my daddy's side. The only person in my immediate family that I was close to is my cousin Monique. So, um, I was never really close to my siblings like that. So, it was, it was different because I'm talking to them like I've been talking to them for years. And so, especially one of the brothers that I really wasn't dig digging at the time. I, I could not believe that because I was so fucking pissed at him about trivial things. Like, when I would call, he wouldn't answer. When I FaceTime, he wouldn't answer. When I text him, he wouldn't answer. I, he wouldn't answer. So, I was upset with him about that and I just wasn't fucking with him. So, I really wasn't that excited to see him. But it's like... He was the main one that was stuck to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were stuck with each other for, like, for most of the time I was there. So, we went back. After we took the pictures, we got, um, we changed clothes. Came back to my dad's house to eat dinner. And then, um, that's when I started drinking. We all started drinking wine. And I started drinking my vodka. And then, you know, we were trying to go out that night. So, my brother was like, uh, let's go out. He asked my other brother, Anthony, would, would he like to go? And, um, you know, he was like, nah, man, I'm not going to go. So, it was just me and him. The two that don't never get along. The Taurus and the Aquarius that never gets along. So, uh, me and him, we got in the car late on that night. And um, we, we rode up to Manhattan in the East Village. He took me to every fucking bar there was. We got straight toe up. That night. It was just me and him getting fucked up all night. All night. He was in Central Park. Then couldn't find a car. <laughs> Got lost. <laughs> couldn't even find a fucking car. He was so fucking drunk. And I just could not believe it. And we were bonding. Like we were straight up bonding. Like it, went, like it was nothing like. It was just like it wasn't nothing happening. Like it's like we never had an issue or nothing like that. Like we were just bonding and just getting along. Drinking. And then um, we got back to my dad's house at like 5 o'clock in the morning, staggering in. We woke up the baby and all types of shit. So, you know, my stepmother said that when she got up the next morning, she saw me and him laid out on the couch. She said, wake up, drunk. She said that's what she, that's what she said when we was um, up, but I, I, when we were asleep. But I didn't hear nothing she said, so I must have been in deep sleep. So, I, so me and my brother, we got up, went back to my auntie Donna house and all of that stuff so I could go get myself together. Next thing you know, we went to New York City as a family. All of us went to New York City. And um, it was cool. Um, we were in Times Square, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we went to the 9-11 Memorial. 
We saw the New World Trade Center. Um, it was like great. Like I had a great time um, walking through New York. Like it was, it was pretty different. Like we ain't used to all them taxis and horns blowing everybody in a rush. We even rode the subway. And I've always been afraid to ride the subway because I always hear these horror stories about rats and how they smell like piss and how people get stuck in them. I was so fucking scared. But when we got on the subway, it was fun because we were having a great time. And, and you know, me, my sister, and Monique, we were all looking like fucking tourists. Because while we was on the motherfucking uh, subway, the dude, one of the Asian guys got so fucking mad, he wanted us to shut the fuck up. So, you know, we came back to Patterson late on that night and everything was kosher. So after that, for the rest of the week, you know, it was pretty much, me and my sister went back to New York by ourselves. And then, you know, we just had a great time. Like, um, all in all, you know, I just really had a great time with my family. Like, we went to the, I went to the mall in Wayne, New Jersey, you know, went to Newark, went to this Cuban restaurant. Like, I just had a great time hanging out with them. And, you know, I really do plan on coming back to New Jersey next year. I feel like I should have been doing this a long time ago. I should have just put my pride to the side and came. And... All, all this trip really did was mend old wounds. Like, I mended my wounds with my brother. I mended open wounds with my grandmother. Like, whatever issue that I had with any of them, it's over with. Like, and I don't even like kids, but I fell in love with my niece. I, like, I really did. You know what I'm saying? So I, I enjoyed every second. It was like a therapeutic thing. It, I think it was something that we needed. And ever since then, me and my brother Chris, that I had the biggest issue with forever, we talk every week. I text them every other week now. So it's like, you know, all this trip really did was mend old wounds and all of that stuff. And it just made me miss them now. Um, will I live in New Jersey? Hell no. That ain't for me. Um, too busy, too much. I'm a country boy at heart. I can't do the big city. But I always come visit. I will always come visit. So, But I ain't gonna never come when it's cold. When it's hot, I'm gonna come. But you know. Other than that, y'all, this is my video on my experience with New Jersey. Um, I had to cut this short because I see that battery sign popping up on my camera. I can see it through the motherfucking mirror. So um, if it wasn't for that, I would have kept talking longer than that. I don't know why I didn't charge my camera up. But I'm out of here, you guys. Um, y'all will see me Monday for Love and Hip Hop and Basketball Wise. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye.